It's not what you think. Okay, so tell me what happened to you. One of my earliest memories was sitting in a police car when I was about five. I don't think Mum even noticed I wandered off. Mum was always crying, afraid of everyone. She didn't want people involved in our business. I'd meet Susie, my social worker, twice a week. We'd talk about home, school and stuff. We'd even talk about football. When I was six, I moved in with my dad and Janet. It was much better there. Dad used to take me to the footy. We'd get chips, ketchup on my side, vinegar on his. But when he died, I stopped going. I was 13 when I went into my first group home. Susie said it would be okay. But then she got transferred away. They stuck me with this other guy, Greg or something. Then someone else. And someone else. I just stopped showing up. I first met Chris online. He understood what I was going through. He'd pick me up after school. He'd go smoke and stuff. He'd listen to me. I remember when I first started dealing for him. It felt good. Someone trusted me. When he sent me on a run to another county, he bought me new trainers, video games. He'd take me to parties with his mates. It was cool hanging out with older guys. But then they took me to a bedroom. Made me do stuff to them. I didn't really feel safe, so I got myself a blade. Like, just in case. A couple of days later in maths, Mr. Jeffrey saw it in my bag. I told them it was for protection. They didn't want to listen, so they just kicked me out of school. Wasn't going much anyway. I owed Chris some money, so I started dealing more. That's when I got nicked. You know the rest. Look, I don't want to snitch. That's okay. You did really well today. Next week, we'll work on getting you back into school. All right. Yeah. Thanks. This really helped. She believed in me. <laughs> <laughs>